Hello everyone and welcome to the latest episode of Fabric Espresso. This is Filip and this is Milos Šukovic. Hello, uh, my name is Milos. I'm engineering manager in Fabric SQL team and we are working on Query Scan. This means that today we have a special treat for you. We'll talk about the performance of a Query Scan. Milos, can you tell us something about it? Yes. As you know, uh, data in Fabric is stored in one lake uh, using Delta format. So it is backed by Parquet files. Uh, previously, we introduced Transcoder, a component which converts Parquet data to SQL native format, cluster column store index. Great. That means that we leverage all performance benefits from column store from SQL Server. And now we added on top of it in the Fabric, right? Exactly. Once data is converted from Parquet to SQL native format, it is cached in memory. Uh, memory is limited resource, so once data uh, set uh, reaches certain size, we cannot fit all the data from data set into memory cache. Uh, that's why for uh, some queries we have to start evicting uh, data from memory, which can be uh, which can introduce penalty on performance uh, because we will have to go to read data from remote storage again. Uh, because of that, to neutralize impact of uh, memory cache misses, we int also introduced SSD cache, uh, where we basically extend memory cache uh, using disk space, which is much larger compared to memory space. So once data is transcoded, uh, we use uh, serialization and asynchronously uh, write to SSD cache again uh, data which is already converted to SQL column store format. So uh, later queries which have memory ma miss will go to SSD cache to read the data rather than going uh, to one lake to read it. Great. So that means that if my data set cannot fit in memory cache, it will be also serialized into SSD cache. So next time I'm targeting data that was evicted from the cache, we will not go all the way to the storage, but we will read the data out of SSD cache, meaning we will reduce the latency. So basically the IO will be much faster, right? Yes, also data does not have to be converted anymore because on SSD cache, it is already in SQL native format. Oh, that's, that's, that's really fantastic. And we spoke about data all the time. Now, uh, Parquet and Delta have a lot of metadata in it. Um, how does it work with the caching? A good question. So uh, when we have to read multiple columns from the table you, uh, in first query, uh, we will cache all the data, but we will also cache the metadata. Uh, for the parquet file. Why do we do that? So if we have consecutive queries, which maybe add additional columns to the query, so you queried three columns, now you query four columns, uh, this metadata cache will help reduce the amount of I.O. on consecutive query. So we will do the I.O. only for the fourth column, and we will not have to reload the parquet metadata again. Nice. So you no longer need to care about the size of your data set because we have in-memory cache, as you know, we already had it. Now we have SSD cache as well to get you covered for large data sets. And we also cache both data and metadata. So your subsequent queries will just fly. So if you like the content or have any questions, comments, please let us know in the comments below. And also don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you next time. This is Philip and this is Milos. Bye. Bye.